my channel so as you can see today i provided a more intimate 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 environment as we're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about friendship i actually wrote a substack article about friendship so if you prefer reading to watching a video i did link it in the description below I'll actually be referencing the substack a lot in this video, so if you see me looking to the side, I'm literally just kind of reading off of it, um, so that's just kind of like building off of it. So basically, I learned a lot about friendship throughout my course and time in college, and I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. I'm like trying to find a comfortable angle to film, but like, there's nowhere that's like comfortable. Yeah, and also my arms just kind of like hanging here and I don't know what to do about it. Okay, so I do think that college taught me a lot more about who I want to surround myself with, how to approach friendships, and also how to be a better friend. Friendship is a topic that's very dear to me because I truly believe that friendship is one of the purest forms of love. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I learned is to go where you are wanted. So there was definitely times in college when I felt like I was trying to be friends with people that I didn't really vibe with. The way I describe it is I just felt like I wasn't really wanted and I just felt like I was always met with a cold shoulder. I feel like I'd send texts into the group chat and not get a response or I feel like I was excluded from plans, things like that. And it just felt like everyone had their first choice um, or like their best friend or their person, but, but I mean, I didn't have that. It's kind of sad because I knew that my absence mattered even less. I know that no one is obligated to be your friend, right? But obviously it hurts to be rejected. And so I think, um, you know, thoughts stopped, started popping into my head and I just started thinking things like, hmm, like, am I not like pretty enough? Is there like something wrong with my personality? What can I do to like change about myself? Like, what can I do to like fix this? So like what can you do when you're in a situation where you want to be friends with people um, Who like don't want to be friends with you, right? Um, literally you cannot do anything about it. You can't um, The only thing you can do is to let it go So I think like a really big piece of advice that I would give to my younger self is to go where you are wanted The second thing that I learned is that Friendship is easy and the right people will allow you to realize this. I eventually did find my people. Yay! Happy ending. Um, and I think they really made me realize it's like not that hard to make friends. I think friendships are easy if you're asking the right people. I'm definitely, I would say, in like different environments and like different social circles right now. I'm like working at a bakery and um, taking classes like in ceramics and just in a new circle of friends and like wow it's actually like really easy to make friends like i i don't know why i thought it was like ever hard but um that's kind of like what i mean by my advice is like the right people will make you realize that i feel like now i know what good friendship feels like like i feel wanted and valued um, not to say I haven't felt it before, but I think for a while like I lost that um, But like the way I describe it is like we interchangeably ask each other to hang out I feel like I can basically share everything with them without feeling like a burden or feeling like Oh my gosh, my voice <clears throat> Or like feeling like I need to be different or act different to be liked I even questioned my MBTI, which is INFJ, um, which says I'm an introvert, right? Um, I like question that because like I'm yapping so much when I'm with them and I do like my alone time, but like I'm also so eager to spend time with them and I do think they help recharge me as well. So 
yeah, I don't know. It's just like it's such a beautiful thing. Um, I feel like I laugh until like my stomach hurts. I feel like I can ugly cry without feeling judged. I think true friendship is when one person enjoys another person's company as much as the other person enjoys theirs. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's simplifying things. But yeah, I just wanted to say I am very, very grateful for my friends. And I just wanted to say like, thank you for showing me what it feels like to be loved. I feel like I've always just been a girl who like, you know, wanted to like feel love. And I'm just like very grateful you guys allow me to experience that in this lifetime. And I guess like in this phase of my life. So thank you guys. And then my third lesson is that anyone, oh, anyone can be a friend. So like truly, this one's very straightforward, but like any person that you meet can be a friend. Like if you open your mind to that, because every person is fun and has like interesting things to learn about. And you know, I feel like people are like books to be opened and there's just so much to learn about everyone, whether it's like just the knowledge they have and like their interests and their likes and dislikes. Like, it's very fun to get to know people. Um, I do think that you are always one conversation away from making a friend. Um, you know, it might take a couple conversations more to make that like a deeper friendship, but the potential is always there. So on that note, I just kind of wanted to reflect on my experience. I do recognize that I am someone who can be like closed off and shy when meeting new people. Um, I'm pretty sure I have like a little bit of social anxiety. I do think that I can be awkward and like not the best at small talk. Being shy is not a crime, but it can definitely hinder you and your growth of friendships. My fourth lesson is that friendships take effort. So um, I do have low maintenance friendships and I do think that those are some of the deepest friendships that I have, but I do think that it's because we've gotten to a level where we're close enough to recognize that even if our life paths deviate, when we come back, things will be the same again. Um, and of course, not all my friendships are like this. Like some of my friendships take more effort and that's totally okay. So what does effort look like? Effort just looks like, you know, putting in the extra time to like um, schedule a date or hang out with them with greater frequency. I feel like that's what effort is. Definitely as we grow up, we lack environments where we're running into people like, you know, for school. And so the other option is you have to plan a hangout and planning takes effort. Um, but that's not necessarily like a bad thing, right? Um, I think that it's important to show people that you care for them so that you can grow and nourish the friendship. Lesson five is pretty important, but you have to remember that people come and go. Okay, so I've definitely had my fair share of friendship breakups and seasonal friendships. Some of my friendships naturally drifted away and I was definitely sad when some friendships didn't last as long as I had hoped. My advice to this is don't take things personally. Um, I think people are genuinely so entwined with their own lives that a lot of times when they act in a certain way, it has nothing to do with you, but it has more to do with themselves, like perhaps like their own goals or their values. The people pleaser side of me does want to be like liked by everyone or to be friends with everyone, but I think, I feel like it's the more natural course of life that people come and go. Like it's just normal. And this is coming from someone who like definitely very much values like lifelong friendships. I think it was a hard pill for me to swallow that even if you kind of like, perceive it that way, like that doesn't mean things will pan out like the way that you want it to. That's okay. Okay, lesson number six is also important. I feel like all these lessons are low key important, um, but it's never too late to make friends. I do think the phrase too late hindered me way more times than I can count. Um, there were definitely times in college where I was like, oh my gosh, like it's too late to make friends. Like everybody is already in their established friend groups. Like, yeah, like it's just too late. I can't do anything. I personally feel like kind people will always have room for friendship. And I do think that these type of people tend to be more inviting and inclusive. So honestly, your chances of finding a warm and inviting person I feel like it's pretty high, right? My point is I was able to make and maintain 
my friendships that I made in my last year of college. And then I also kind of wanted to make a note um, about post-grad because I think a lot of people say that, um, oh dang, it's like, it's harder to make friends post-grad. I have to like make all my friends right now in like college or something. But like, honestly, I argue that I think when you're post-grad, yes, it's harder to meet people because um, you're not in like a constant environment where you have the same schedules. However, I do think people are more eager to make friends. And then me personally, I've also been rekindling a couple old friendships. And so I really stand by what I say that it's never too late to make friends and you truly have your whole lifetime. So it'll be okay. Okay, and then lesson number seven that I learned about friendship is just to be a good friend yourself. Um, so I think it was my friend Colette that really ingrained this in me, along with other friends too, but I feel like I really like noticed the way that she gave love. I think maybe it was like the language of like many gifts, like gift giving. So I remember when I was like going through a hard time, she would like give me like these little candies and to tell me to have like a sweet day like a little note oh my god it was so cute but like yeah i mean like this is kind of like the stuff that i'm like talking about it's like the small things like you know it's not like grand gestures or whatever but like yeah like you know do things like celebrate people's birthdays and like their wins congratulate them um like help others listen to them and their interests and their values being a good friend is in and of itself like a very important tip lesson um and it's something that it's like it's definitely it's like a skill that you can like work and develop being a good friend is um pretty obvious but i don't think it comes very intuitively to each person because i think everybody shows love in a different way so like maybe some person has like so much love for like a friend but like they're not really showing it they're like keeping it all inside and the other friend's like oh my gosh like I want more, like, can you show me more, like, love or something? And then I just wanted to do a quick little TLDR to wrap up this video, but I still, I know I said um, friendships are easy, but I still think, like, friendships are very complex. Um, I think there's not really a formula for making friends. I realized, like, I've just been sitting in place and, like, not moving at all, so I'm gonna, like, adjust. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So... Yeah, I talked to some people in college about like how and like where they made friends and stuff and like, you know, some people made friends in clubs, other people made friends in um, through like housing, like roommates, and then other people made friends through literally the classroom. Like I know people are like, oh, you can't make friends in like the classroom, but I swear if you work on like a project that you both dislike or you both dislike the class, Bam, really easy to make friends. Okay, so I mentioned that friendships can come from a variety of places such as clubs, the classroom, like roommates, housing, whatever, right? Um, but the thing is, you could be in all of these places and still have no deep friendships. Or you could be in none of these places and still have very meaningful friendships, right? Um, I think that you could follow the exact steps that someone else does and still not have a friendship. It's definitely important to go to these places to put yourself out there but like when you go to these places to put yourself out there you're just increasing your you're just increasing your chances there's no like guarantee that you'll make a friend for me i all i really know is that friendship is a two-way street and if even one person is not watering that garden of friendship it's gonna wilt so if you are out there and you are struggling with loneliness, I just want you to know that I have been there. Um, there were definitely times where I felt like self-isolating even more during these times. Um, I think it felt like what I wanted for in a friendship was just like too much to ask. And um, I think I wanted to protect myself from even further rejection. And so, my advice to you is this, um, these are like the moments where you literally want to keep persisting. Um, I like can't emphasize enough, like there really are amazing and beautiful people out there for you to get to know. Um, and I truly believe that if the opportunity of good friendships exists out there for me or for others, then you totally deserve it too and you are capable of it. I can't talk. And you are capable of it too.
So moving forward, I want to continue to surround myself with people who are kind, inspiring, and loving. And thank you to all my friends who um, have embodied that and continue to show me that every day. My friends have really supported me in my YouTube journey and I feel like I make an okay amount of YouTube videos, but I feel like it was right to, you know, devote a video to them. But yeah, I also really love this style of video where it's like super intimate and it's kind of like a chit chat video. I was actually thinking of doing this in my own room in like pajamas and stuff and like a face mask and stuff. Uh, but I'll leave that for another video in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Okay, I don't know if this is gonna be a blooper, but like I had tea here the whole time. It's cold now, like I didn't even drink it. I think I was just talking way too much. It doesn't taste good anymore. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't even like, when I turned on the water, I didn't turn it on for a warmer temperature. So I'm actually sitting in lukewarm water and I get like cold really easily. So like, this is just not an ideal environment. The bath bomb, I don't know if you guys can see the water in the video. Actually, it's very low, but the bath bomb, it doesn't look good in this lighting. It looks kind of like gray and murky, but when I turn on the white light, it's more purple and pretty. Bye.